real quick, just kind of wanted to talk about this because I'm I'm starting to see a plan. Um, I don't I don't have any inside information on this. Uh, these are all surprises so far from iRacing, seeing them now acquire two gaming companies. But I I think I'm starting to see a bigger picture. Um, I have no knowledge other than just kind of the insider information that I got from being on Arca Sim Racing Alpha and um, another Alpha that I can't really talk about. But um, I'm starting to get an idea of what's happening here. Um, so if you didn't get the news, today they just announced iRacing acquires Monster Games. These are the guys that did Heat, Dirt to Daytona, all the Heat games, and Tony Stewart and SRX and all of that. So why would iRacing start buying up these companies. This is now the second one that we've got in the last couple of weeks. And um, it's clear, and it had been kind of clear for the last couple of years, that mo uh, not monster games, motorsports games was coming in with a lot of money and buying up everything they can. Exclusives for the Le Mans 24, R Factor, um, trying to get a bunch of different high profile um, content, IndyCar game, NASCAR game. And when all of these things start getting bought up, just like in the early 2000s, it starts forcing companies out of the market. And what we went through from 2003 to 2008 sucked because it it kind of reset the entire game industry for racing and we had to start over luckily our factor came out and lots of great modders saved us and that kept everything going and nascar 2003 was very good but it wasn't a good time for racing games through that period uh it, you know, there wasn't a lot of fun happening there. And uh, Papyrus, who is iRacing, pretty much all the uh, high-ups are from there, uh, they suffered the most because they were essentially shut down by their parent company because there were no more big deals to have. So, Monster Games... No longer can get NASCAR. IndyCar's not anything out there. SRX is really not that big of a market. Um, but if you lose companies like this, then all it does is allow motorsports games to get even lazier, which, let's face it, their first attempt was absolutely terrible. Um, and, uh, you just, you start losing that bit of competition that keeps the industry moving forward. Now, another thing that it can do is why, all right, you think about how close NASCAR is with iRacing, but NASCAR also has to get a console game out there. So NASCAR right now is having to deal out two different agreements and licensing deals with this um, rather than one deal sim and casual gaming or whatever you want to call what the console games are for NASCAR. I think this also opens up a lot of licensing deals such as getting SRX on um, I racing because you, SRX wouldn't want to just put their game in a sim or their product in a sim. They want to get it in the most hands they can. Um, and iRacing's never been able to offer that because 
they just make this PC game. But now getting console makers, publisher, or not publishers, but developers like Monster Game and uh, whatever that other one was, I can't even pronounce it, or Entes or something like that. Um, getting these developers under iRacing's umbrella, I think is going to allow them to bring in licenses they were never able to do because they'll not only be able to put the product in the sim for iRacing, but allow them to put the product in a console and Steam game if needed. Um, if that is what the licensee wants. So, you know, iRacing might be large in our community, but it is nothing in the grand scheme of things. And I'm kind of seeing these acquisitions as, first of all, protecting the industry from what most of these guys went through in early 2000s when EA came in with money and destroyed the industry. Um, second, it's to give them a bigger footprint and use that in order to get licensing agreements on products that we just might not have uh, been able to get for a PC sim only. And, uh, you know, it, it opens the door for them to start working on a lower level with uh, series and then merge them up into iRacing. So, I may not be a big fan of Monster Games stuff here, but this stuff here is needed in the community because you don't get sim racers without getting a 7 to 10 year old playing games like this. I would not be into sim racing if I didn't have Dirt to Daytona and uh, NASCAR Thunder and games like that. So if you don't have a good product to get the kids in younger, it's going to be even harder to get them into iRacing later in life when they want more than just a console game. So I think I think we're seeing a very long term um, build up of iRacing to protect the industry because I I mean just seeing the exclusives that Motorsports Games is doing it is uh, it was starting to get a bit scary. Not that I thought they were going to do anything to iRacing but that they were going to destroy the racing game industry as EA slowly did over time as they took a very good product when they had competition and destroyed it and made it to nothing and then just gave away the license. And I think what what iRacing's doing here is uh, a lot of different plays, but I think knowing the guys at iRacing the biggest thing is protecting the industry they love that they've already seen go through this once. And uh, then, you know, also long term, what can they do with these licenses? What can they uh, offer people to have a hand in consoles and sim racing? And then creating the next generation of iRacers. Um, so, you know, this is way out of the blue. I didn't see this ever coming, but it is thinking about it now, thinking about why they would be doing this. Uh, I believe this is some good moves because it's not they're not porting iRacing to consoles. That's not going to be a thing. But what they can do is use some of these licenses, uh, agreements, friendships that they've developed through the years and help uh, developers like Monster Games survive in this industry where uh, you know, motorsports games could have just bought them up and shut them down. You know, we've seen that a ton of times in the gaming industry. So uh, that is just my thoughts. 
let me know what you think, but I feel like there's a lot of different things going on here, but it's not iRacing coming to console. It's more iRacing trying to save the world uh, from motorsports games who currently doesn't have a very good track record of things, uh, at least not on consoles. So, uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, but... This is some interesting news, and uh, very, very, very cool to see them trying to prevent what we all saw, if you were born. I know a lot of you people are young, but uh, what we went through in the early 2000s in the gaming industry. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Interesting time. Good luck to iRacing.